In this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a nice, high quality, custom to your needs closet organizer using just two power tools. Before we get into this build, I wanna talk about why would you build your own closet organizer? Really simply is a bedroom only has one closet. It has, you know, literally 10 square feet. So you might as well put the extra 50, 100 bucks in and get exactly what you need, something that's gonna hold up, something that you can customize. It's not made of particle board, so it's not gonna fall apart when you attach a closet rod to it. Something that you have control over the paint finish. So if you wanna add molding, you wanna add extra shelves, you can do that and paint it yourself without having to worry about matching a factory finish. Um, you can configure it so it perfectly fits your baskets. The rod heights are perfectly uh, laid out so that it fits the clothing height that you have, that you can change those rod heights over time when you go from a toddler to a teenager, you know, the clothing gets longer. So you have the ability to control over changing it. Um, and then you can think about a few other things too, like uh, as I clean house all day long, I know that everything has to be either all the way to the floor or easy to clean underneath. So we raise this up. Um, another thing is like, how do you hang a closet organizer like this? Because it's narrow and the studs run vertically. You may only hit one stud. You might not even have a stud. So um, we're gonna talk a little bit about how to hang this, why we went all the way to the ceiling in this video. I'm using the new Craig 520 to drill my pocket holes. This is the first time I used it. And honestly, I was very impressed. It's fast, it's quick, it's easy, it's portable, and the adjusting is almost foolproof. I highly recommend it. And then for attaching, all you do is you switch out the drill bit for the driving bit, and then um, use the pocket hole screws right in the pre-drilled pocket holes and attach the shelves wherever you want them. Now I do need to do a little bit of cutting for the base supports that add some extra structure. So I tested out this miter box and um, you definitely wanna clamp it, but for smaller boards like a one by two or a one by three, maybe even a one by four, this worked just fine. And there was no loud noises, no giant sawdust mess. Um, it's something you could definitely do in an apartment. I'm using the base supports at the top because I need something to hang it on the ceiling and the wall behind it. And then just go ahead and repeat those steps to finish out the other side of the closet. So for the remainder of the shelves, I want them to be adjustable. So what I'm gonna use is this Craig Shelf Pin Jig, and it's got all the pieces that you need, the drill bits, and the um, it's got like a spacer that you put in there to hold it in place so your, your shelf pin holes are always in the right spot, and then you just drill them. It is a little bit tedious drilling all those holes, but I think it's worth it to have some adjustability in your finished closet. I needed to cut some bigger boards for hanging my closet rods on. So this one by six wouldn't fit in that miter box. I'm gonna use a circular saw and then this circular saw guide. Just like that, you can cut really straight cuts without having to invest in a miter saw. Then from there, um, I just finished touch up painting on everything that I didn't get earlier. Um, so what I'll do is roll the pieces in the garage and then I'll just touch up the front edges and you know the other support pieces on site. It really cuts down on the painting time. All right, time to haul this sucker into the closet and figure out how to hang it by myself. So this actually was quite a chore. Um, it would really help to have another person. And I couldn't get a stud in the wall behind um, the closet. So what I ended up doing was hanging it on the ceiling and um, tying into the top plate of the wall. And then from there, I hung the one by sixes on the wall for attaching the closet rods and um, then shelves between the closet tower and on top of the one by sixes. All right, it's time to hang the dowels. So I'm just gonna use these sockets, just screw them right to the side of the closet organizer. We're dealing with solid wood, so everything's gonna hold strong and it's easily adjustable. Then just cut and set the rod add the shelf pins and the adjustable shelves. Um, we do have another similar closet on the other side of this, this house, 
um, and it's more of a horizontal design, so that's got its benefits too. You know your space, you know your needs, you should have the power to build what you need for your family, for your house, and um, we're just glad to be able to help and provide you with some free templates and videos. So thank you guys for watching this week, and we'll see you next Monday.